the liaison officer said, the outcome of the by-election did not only affirm the acceptance of the All Progressive Congress as a party, but the total resolve by the people of Plateau South Central District to ensure that party politics does not set them apart. As a party man, I feel very, very alerted and happy because it's not easy to front a female candidate, particularly in our environment and yet be successful, if not for APC, being regarded as a party of trust and the worthiness involved in it that actually led people to accept the candidate of APC in a woman's form. Executive Secretary, Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria, Professor Gerbo Sharubitu said, the by-election has shown that the people of Plateau will always identify with their own whenever the need arises, and that is why they were all out for the first time to support the emergence of a female candidate. The Lord Almighty has done it and uh, with a lot of lessons. Number one, we have a very quiet, humble and honest person elected by the people of the Southern Senatorial Zone to represent them in the Senate. We are also grateful because in the second place, people have again affirmed the fact that the person that was chosen as the flag bearer of the All Progressive Congress was acceptable to them. We also thank God that as a female, we are beginning to think differently. Professor Patrick Dacom described the victory as not only for the APC, but the entire plateau. The people are made up of men, women, and children. So it means then that if these laws are going to be made, if there isn't any uh, gender balance in terms of the inputs that go to do with making of these laws, it becomes very difficult. And so some of us have always been praying and yearning, and in fact going as far as supporting uh, women in politics. And the purpose is because it's he who wears the shoe knows where it, is, it pinches. It means that a woman understands what the issues are related to uh, the challenges that women face. This is Roland Long.